As you are all aware, Calgary faced a catastrophic infrastructure failure on June 5th when the Bears Paw South feeder main broke and sent us into a month of repairs, having to reduce usage of water inside our homes and businesses, as well as outdoor water restrictions. We had partnered with a company called Pure Technologies to send a device called a pipe diver down the entire length of the feeder main in early July. The pipe diver scanned the 10.4 kilometers of that pipe from the inside, looking for any problems. On July 26, the raw data from the pipe diver was delivered to the water team. And since then, the team has been working with Pure Technologies to run a comprehensive analysis that included interpreting the data, identifying points of weakness, as well as developing repair strategies and contingencies. Today, we're sharing the results of that comprehensive analysis with you. We are able to confirm that much like the hotspots that we uncovered during the original feeder main break in June, there are 16 more sites right now that require attention in the short term. To be clear, the pipe is not facing an immediate break at any of these sites. Rather, there are enough points of weakness or strain in these sections that maintenance work needs to be completed before the end of September. This is not an emergency situation like the one that we faced in June. It is planned maintenance that's based on the results of the pipe diver. These repairs will directly impact some residents and businesses in the communities of Bowness and Montgomery for, dur for the duration of the planned work. Importantly, this work will impact all of us in Calgary, Airdrie, Sutina Nation, Strathmore and Chestermere as we will all need to reduce our indoor water usage again. Further, we will also need to return to stage four outdoor water restrictions on August the 26th as the team prepares to shut down the Bears Paw South feeder main. On August 28th, major construction will begin and it will be carried through 24 hours a day, seven days a week until completion, which is anticipated for about September 23rd. This time, you will have time to make sure you have clean linens, that you have clean clothes and clean dishes, and that you're able to stockpile rainwater for your gardens and your plants through the period of repair and restoration. Businesses use water in different ways, so we will be asking them to find ways to aim for a 25% reduction in daily water use starting on August 26th and during the period of the closure. Unlike last time, we do not intend to request closure of specific businesses unless it is absolutely necessary. We will not be closing indoor pools either at either hotels or recreation centers, and we will not be closing arenas. We need to do what we can to lower the risk of another unplanned failure in the feeder main, and new data has shown that there are some areas that are currently at risk. What we know today is that the majority of the work for the new areas requiring urgent repair is along a section of 33rd Avenue Northwest. There will also likely be a repair required on Parkdale Boulevard, and we will use this shutdown of the feeder main to address some of the medium-term repairs required on 16th Avenue. In June, we actually replaced several segments of the feeder main with new pipe. This time we are planning to take a different approach. Currently, we are making plans to address these urgent repairs through the reinforced concrete encasement method. This is the type of repair that we completed earlier this summer when we found the thrust block and we reinforced the existing pipe instead of removing and replacing it. This work includes exposing the pipe through excavation, building an exterior reinforcing steel cage, pouring concrete, and then backfilling the excavation. As we know, until we have exposed the pipe and have a complete view of the area, there's always a potential that things will change. Should we find any issues that we are not expecting, we have contingency plans in place. We previously committed to providing Calgarians the cost of the initial response to this feeder main repair once we had additional information. Because the response is ongoing, we are still receiving invoices from some of our contractors and for certain materials purchased. We are now able to provide an estimate based on work to date. This is specifically the cost for the first phase of the repairs and does not include 
the costs of the upcoming repairs, which are not yet known. Costs to date for the initial repairs to the feeder main include repair of the initial break, repairing the five hot spots, procuring materials for the repairs and replacements, and for contingencies like additional steel pipe adapters and exterior reinforcing parts, enhanced operations at the Glenmore Water Treatment Plant to keep our water distri distribution system stable, and costs to provide other services during the response like non-potable water pickup locations across the city. Based on what we know today, we estimate our costs for the first phase of repairs to be in the range of 20 to $25 million. The cost estimate does not include any lost revenue for city services associated with the break or repairs. We will share more information on the cost estimates of the upcoming repairs as they become available. And we are sharing our experiences with other cities who have been reaching out to us with grave concern that they might find themselves in the same position of a catastrophic break. I am committed to working with other cities as well as the Federation of Canadian Municipalities to appeal to the federal government for a more consistent and equitable funding model that addresses our growing populations and the infrastructure that we need to provide. I know this is not the news that any of us wanted to hear. At the same time, I'm grateful that we have this important information that allows us to act in a manner that protects our water system against any potential breaks. To everyone in the Calgary region, particularly the residents and businesses in Bow Ness and Montgomery, I understand how much this impacts your life. And I know that we are asking a lot from you. Please know that in addition to this repair work, we will also continue to do everything we can to improve the stability and certainty of water service in our city.